What's good? Welcome back to the Loophole channel. In this video, I'm going to be making a beat in the style of Drake's latest album called Honestly Nevermind. Now the beats on this album are obviously really different to what we would have expected from a Drake album. So I'm going to be trying to recreate that in a kind of house style, but I do really like songs like Overdrive where they dive into more of kind of like an R&B space or pocket within the house or dance genre. So I'm going to be making a track like that with kind of moody chords. Uh, I've already laid down some chords. The chords are just in FL keys at the moment, but I'm going to try and find a darker kind of more moody sound to fit them into. Okay, so I've found a sound. It's called He Loved Her from me and XY's Impulse Bank. First, what I want to do is cut out some of the lows and maybe some of those kind of dusty high sounds. So just going to remove the bass and then some of the highs. Maybe add a kind of flanger on it. I've also widened it, compressed it and added a chorus so it now sounds like this. I want to layer this sound with something that cuts through the mix a little bit more so what I'm going to do is just copy over the MIDI and then I'm going to look through Impulse to find another sound that fits the description. Okay well I've found another preset it doesn't cut through the mix more but I do really like how it sounds with the other preset so I'll probably pan this slightly to the right this one slightly to the left so that sounds like this. Now to find a sound that actually does cut through the mix a bit more to add some more pace to the track. I think I might want to add it kind of like with house chord stabs, but obviously not as kind of obnoxious sounding as that. I picked this Tronic sound also from Impulse because it, it's a bit more atmospheric and it's, it's a pluck sound as opposed to something really spacey. And then I've switched up the pattern to make it a bit more pulsing, give it a bit more rhythm as opposed to just being straight chords. To give it more of a house music feel, I definitely want to add a sidechain. So I'm going to use Shaper Box for that. Just use the sidechain feature here. Just turn it up a little bit, so now it sounds like this. I think what I want to do is add a little bit of distortion as well, just to make it sound a bit more gritty, and then I'll filter it out a little bit as well. Now the final element I want to add is a guitar. Now I don't have a guitar to play, or I actually do, but one of the strings is broken. But instead of using an actual guitar, I'm going to use Romina 1, which is the best guitar VST, at least for electric guitars, that I've found. It doesn't sound the most realistic, but when you add effects, you get a really nice tone. So shout out to Hum for, you know, putting me onto that. So I'm going to copy the chords over, just simply like this. So the guitar by itself sounds like this. So yeah, the guitar tone sounds really, really nice, uh, especially when you can process it a bit. So I'm using the subtle widener preset on the H910. Gives it a nice chorus effect. I'm also gonna add a delay called the drive up, age down, high down, low up, mix down. Sounds like this. And then I might add a filter freak as well, just to make it a little bit more weird. I'm also gonna just EQ it a little bit to take out the lows and bring out the highs a bit more. I think to bring out the highs a bit more, I'll add a bit more distortion as well. Like this. Maybe not that much. Uh, turn it down in the dry way as well. So now we've got all four elements together sounds like this. Right, so now we've got the melodic elements down. It's quite a spacey R&B track. I think I'm gonna add some drums. I'm using the MJ Cole splice kit. I've just used it in another video I'll show for the channel that's dropping maybe next week, but it's really, really versatile for garage and for house. So I think what I'm gonna do is add a kind of deep kick 
as opposed to a punchy one just because I want this to be quite a low-key R&B style house track. Immediately I know this is the kick I'm going to go for. I'm just going to pull this into another pattern as I've got here. I've got different four bar chops that I'm going to lay the same drums every four bars and then we've got the melody switching up a bit during it. For a kick it's just going to be a simple four on the floor type. I think what I want to do is add a percussion loop from the kit just because I want to add a bit of house bounce so I can know where to lay my percussion as well. It gives you a kind of pocket. I think I mess with this one. Maybe pitch it up one and then filter it out. I love how that sounds already. I think I want to layer another percussion loop subtly and I'm going to put that into the same mixer track. So now instead we've got this. That's got so much bounce now with the kick. There's so much inspiration you can get from layering percussion loops. You know, they're there to be used. It's not, you know, a shameful thing to use someone else's ideas when you're making beats. I'm gonna layer a classic house open hat on the every off beat. I think I'm gonna switch up a little bit just so it's not completely on the grid always. With all of these drum sounds, I think I'm gonna filter them out just so they're very, very low key in, within the mix. But for now, it's best to just establish the rhythm, I think. So I'm gonna go for a clap as well. So layer the claps every two and every four. For a lot of house tracks, especially with Kei Trinada's music, puts the clap before the snare. So it gives it a kind of off rhythm bounce. And then I'm gonna add a snare just after. So you've got a little bit more of a syncopated feel. And then maybe another snare for some bounce. And another one, I think, just for some more bounce. And then maybe a crash just at the start. Time to pull these into the mixer track, filter them out, make sure that they sit within the mix well, and then I'll jump back in and show you what I've done. Now I've finished mixing the drums. I've gone for a very filtered out sound, like I was saying before. How I've done that is I've just mixed and leveled all the drum sounds, panned them and all of that, and then filled them all into a drum filter bus, which has a small room reverb, very, very low dry wet mix, then a free love filter on there. So without those two, the drums would sound like this. with them sounds like this so it takes the edge off makes it a lot more mellow as a track with the percussion loops and the kick sounds like this and then with the melodic elements added back in it sounds like this The final thing really to add is a bass. So I'm just gonna pull in a bass one shot from the MJ Cole kit again. And I'm gonna pull in the subby bass. And I think what I wanna do is pull it over pattern one instead of pattern two, just cause it's a melodic element. It's not really a percussive element. I'm just gonna take out this little click at the start, just because I feel like that's gonna cut through a little bit too much. So I'll just go around and figure out a bass line. All right, so I'm just figuring out a bass line now. I think I've got it pretty much done. It's got a similar rhythm to the overdrive bass. Not quite the same, but at least it's inspired by it. I just need to figure out how long some of the bass notes should last, but this is pretty much how I think it's gonna sound. I just need to change these and then we're good, I think. That's how I want the bass to sound. And then I think I want to add some distortion to the bass just to let it cut through the mix a bit more. I 
really like how this sounds. I think I'm gonna add one more element, which is a kind of eight weight pluck sound that I think would add a bit more to the track. It would give it a bit more movement. So I'm just gonna add that now and then I think we're done. Just gonna add some distortion, let it cut through the mix a bit more. And some reverb. So then in the context of the other melodic elements, it sounds like this. Oh, I want to add a slapback delay as well. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this sounds. I'm gonna structure it out and then play the final beat in the outro. But that's been a tutorial on how to make a kind of spacey house track for Drake's latest album. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. It does so much to help the channel out. Hit the notification bell as well to be notified when we next post. I promise you the next video is gonna be amazing. It's one of my favorites, if not my favorite that I've ever filmed, but I'll catch you in that one.